Hello, I'm Nancy Carrier, Partner Enablement Manager with Acumatica. Today we'll be discussing inventory, replenishment, and purchasing in Acumatica. Let's start by taking a look at inventory items. Inventory items can be viewed, filtered, and sorted by clicking on the inventory workspace, then on stock items. Let's take a look at this sheetrock brand drywall. Items in Acumatica can be grouped into different categories by using item classes. Item classes let you set default values for different types of items. When you create a new item and select an item class, the default values are pulled in, allowing you to quickly set up a new item. An inventory valuation method can be selected per item. Acumatica supports four inventory valuation methods, standard, average, FIFO, and specific. All the information relevant to this item is on this one page. The tabs running across the middle of the page all contain information specific to this item. For example, on warehouse details, I can see which warehouses store this item. Vendor details let me specify all the vendors that you would purchase this item from. And you can specify one as the primary vendor. Over here on the replenishment tab, this tab contains all the parameters the system uses to calculate which items need to be purchased at any point in time. From here, you can set safety stock levels, reorder points, and maximum stock levels. Based on these parameters, the system will provide purchase suggestions. This information is accessible from the inventory workspace by clicking on prepare replenishment. I'm going to select a warehouse and the system calculates which items and quantities need to be purchased. Keep in mind, this is only a purchase advice. You can still choose the items and the quantities that you want to replenish. To select everything in the list for replenishment, I can just click on process all. Now that the item replenishment has been decided, the next step is to create purchase orders. In Acumatica, you can create purchase orders one at a time or in batches. From the purchases workspace, you click on create purchase orders. The process all button can be used to create purchase orders for all the items in the list, or you can check off specific items or items that you want to order and click process. Here is the purchase order that was created. You'll notice that the purchase order was created in a status of on hold. When I take this purchase order off hold, the status changes to pending approval. This is because I'm enforcing approval of all purchase orders. In Acumatica, approvals are driven by approval maps. Approval maps let you set the rules and conditions for approvals. For example, you might have a rule that routes purchase orders under a certain amount, say $10,000, to a manager, but purchase orders over $10,000 are routed to a manager, then to the CFO. Approval routing in Acumatica is very flexible and it assures that all your approvals will be automatically routed to the correct person. Authorized approvers can see transactions pending approval from the approvals menu, from a dashboard, or from the mobile app. Approvers can always view the transaction before approving. The actions menu is used to approve or reject the transaction. It's easy to get this purchase order to the vendor. From the Actions menu, you select Email Purchase Order. This step can be eliminated by using an automation schedule that will periodically send any emails that are ready to be sent. The purchase order is now in the status of Open. We're just waiting to receive in the goods. When the goods arrive, right from the PO, the action menu can be used to record the receipt.
right here in the middle of the page, we have this create bill field. If you have the vendor bill in hand when you're recording the goods receipt, you can just check this box and the system will automatically create a vendor bill for you. You just need to enter the vendor invoice number in the vendor reference field. If a partial order was received, you can just change the receipt quantity. The purchase order will remain open so you can receive the remaining goods against it. To post the transaction, I just click on release. In this example, we're posting two transactions. We're recording the receipt of inventory and because we use the create bill feature, we will also create the AP vendor bill. From the billing history tab, you can view the details of that vendor bill that was created and there is a hyperlink to quickly drill down to the transaction. Today we reviewed inventory items, replenishment, and purchase orders in Acumatica. If you'd like more information about Acumatica, please visit acumatica.com.